So today I watched this video by Arthur, I guess he's going by Arthur Pizza on YouTube. Check out his channel. He goes over motion tracking in Caden Live and he does it where he takes the movement and tracks it to the camera so it follows his head. I'm going to show you, based on what he showed me, I figured out how to overlay an image on a video and track it. So let's go ahead and move into Caden Live. I'll put a link to his video in the description of this video. Uh, so I have a video of me moving this little coupon around and then I have the screenshot from the opening of Doom 2 that I'm going to overlay on it. Uh, something he said in the video, a little tech tip that I didn't know and I've been using Caden Live for years. You have this where you can mute the audio or uh, turn off the video. If you actually just grab the video track, it will bring over just the video and not the audio, which is super nice. I did not know that. So thank you, Arthur, for that. Uh, so pull that in, zoom over. It's only a four second clip. Uh, what I'm going to do now is with that selected, I'm going to come up and under my effects, I'm going to search for tracking, motion tracking, or motion tracker. I'll pull that down here. Then I'm going to take this little red square. I'm going to put it around the area I want to track. I'm going to make it pretty small. I think the smaller you make it, the faster the processing is going to go. So I'm going to do that. And then over here in the settings for the motion tracker, I'm just going to click uh, to analyze and apply effect or apply effect. So don't do that. Shouldn't take too long because it's only a four second clip and I'm checking a small area. Uh, and according to Arthur, this is only doing a single core uh, processing. So even if you have a multi-core machine, it still might be slow. You can see it's taking a little bit and it's only a four second clip. I think it went a little bit quicker when I was testing this out earlier, but it might be because I'm recording video now that might be slowing it down. Uh, so I'll just pause the video for a second. It's just about done. Yep, that took about, I paused the video for about a minute. So it took probably two minutes to do this four second clip. It was a little quicker earlier. Again, I'm recording video, so it might be slowing down my machine a little bit. But now we have that, I can uh, press play here and you can see that this red square is now tracked around that coupon. So now that we have that, let's go back to our first frame here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my image over here. Line it up so it's the same length as my video. And so there, it's over my video. What I want to do now is under my effects here, I'm going to look for transform. You got to spell things properly. Transform, drag that down, and then click on it to see the effects here. Uh, and before I import uh, the motion tracking, I'm going to resize it and angle it. Otherwise, the keyframes, I believe, will override uh, any changes I try to make after it. So uh, if I do like 50, you can see it's a little bit smaller. I want it smaller than that. I'm going to go down to 20. That looks about right to me. I'm going to rotate it. And again, I'm just eyeballing this now. You can take time later on. And then I'm just going to grab this and put it right there. Actually, I don't need to move it. Let's just undo that. That doesn't, I don't think it will hurt it to move it like that. But so I have it resized and rotated. What I'm going to do is go back to my video here. And underneath where it generated these keyframes, I'm going to click on this little hamburger menu. And I'm going to go down and say, copy all keyframes to clipboard. At this point, I can turn off this little eye so that you don't see the red tracker anymore and go to my image. Here, underneath the keyframes, I'm going to select a little hamburger menu and say, import keyframes from clipboard. In this screen, we want to uncheck limit number uh, keyframe numbers. And then this is the key. We want to change this to position. And this is the part that took me a little bit, I didn't see this. You wanna go from top left to center and same over here. So we're lining up the center of our tracker to the center of our image, click okay. And now if I click play, you can see the little doom image is now tracking my, with my motion tracker. Uh, and that is it. Then you can render out that video and you're all set. I hope you found this useful. Again, definitely check out Arthur's video. He goes into a little more detail on some of the settings, but I thought I'd do a quick video that's similar to his, but accomplishing something different. Again, he tracks the camera so it follows his head. Here I'm tracking an object and overlaying an image on it. And uh, if you don't do it in the right orders with the right settings, uh, it will be, it won't track properly. So it took me a little bit to figure that out, but I thank you for watching. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the Gay. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.